Hello boys, girls, and other YouTube guests. with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> this is all a dream. Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Learning the Show where we teach you how to do video editing stuff and we make jokes and act like big dumb idiots the whole time and I'm suppressing a sneeze right now. Okay, I'm alright. All right, all right, so we're back for another episode of learning today. Maybe about like 50 to 60 of you are probably wondering, um, hey, wait a second, didn't we already see this video last week? And the answer to that question is yes. Yes. So we had a little bit of um, an inner struggle here at Now You Know. After much discussion, debates, fighting, both physical and <laughs> verbally, and probably the most epic game of sudden death elimination Chinese checkers you've ever seen. Oh yeah, it was we, intense. We decided to pull last week's episode. As sad as it was, we had some trademarking issues yeah, with we, one we of the had, graphics reviews. Yeah, we, we, we did some stuff with uh, a little show called Avatar The Last Airbender that was in a, a bit of a gray area and we decided it was best to just pull the episode. So for those of you who already saw this tutorial last week, I'm sorry, we're doing it again because we feel like it's a worthwhile tutorial. Part, part, part de, de. Part de for de, you French folk is. out there. So we're going to be doing a rack focus effect today or bokeh effect. Huzzah. So for the, other than the 60 people who already saw this last week, um, this should be new for you. So Bobby, what is rack focusing? Rack focusing is a effect created by a camera lens where you've got like sort of a depth of field where okay. something that's closer to the lens is uh, going to be at a different plane than something further away okay and maybe something closer will be out of focus sure and the camera will be focused on something in the background all right and rack focusing is when you kind of go from one focus to the other oh so you can okay swap by so being like focused in on something close. Swap, swap from like background to foreground or yes. vice versa. Makes sense, cool. We do it all the time with our camera. You can actually recreate this effect in Adobe Premiere. With graphics. With graphics. So without further ado, to keep ado. it French, we're gonna hop right into the tutorial. Simple Etienne. Simple Etienne, coming at you. Here we go. All right, so I already have a couple graphics in here that should hopefully be Safe from any copyright worries. We got um, just a generic uh, cityscape behind us, and we got a nice uh, white Model X in the foreground here. Ooh, look at that. So right now, you'll notice that everything is kind of like in focus right now. So we don't want that. We want to create some sort of um, out of focus effect. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to come over to our effects area. We have our two layers here. We're going to go search in our effects for a blur. Blur. Now there are multiple kinds of blurs that you can use. As you but can see. I enjoy using fast blur. I do too. I think fast blur is the, the most uh, quality blur. I, I would quality. agree for, I would agree and also it, it, as its name suggests, it is a fast blur. Yes. So it's a little bit of a quick blur, you know, you don't have to too many parameters to deal with. It's pretty straightforward. As you can see here, I just dropped my blur, fast blur effect onto my background here. It's not doing anything quite yet, so we're gonna wanna do something about that. So to start, I'll click on my little stopwatch here to toggle animation slash so I can add some keyframes. Ooh. And I'm going to start at the beginning of my clip here and I'm gonna turn the blurriness up so that it looks out of focus. So let's go somewhere like that. That, yeah, looks, that pretty looks pretty good. good. So we got our Model X here in focus and our background out of focus. So next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go forward in our timeline a little bit. Let's try maybe right here. And I'm gonna add another keyframe and we're gonna change our blurriness level to zero so that it's back in focus. Ooh. So obviously we're not quite where we wanna be just yet because that Model X doesn't change at all. And just... you want the Model X to go out of focus exactly. when the background goes in focus. Exactly. So first thing I'm gonna do, we have these little uh, buttons here that allow us to go from keyframe to keyframe. So I'm gonna click this one here pointing to the left so I can go back to my first keyframe on my background layer. Now I'm gonna select my Model X here. I'm gonna again drag a fast blur onto it, add another keyframe, and I'm gonna leave it at zero for now because I want it to stay in focus in the beginning. 
Now I'm going to click back again on my background, use the right arrow here to jump forward to my second keyframe where it becomes in focus. Now here's where the real magic happens. I'm going to select my model X layer again. I'm going to set it to eight. That looks pretty good. Yeah, now the pretty good. model X is out of focus. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like when we play it in real time. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm actually, I might even go a little more subtle with it and drag this out a little bit more. So I'm gonna move this keyframe a little bit farther forward. I'll hit my right arrow to fast forward to it. I'll go mm. to my background layer again so that I can snap to that same point. That's a good way to keep, make sure that you're always. Yeah, you're, so everything out. stays where it needs to be. So let's try this again. So we've got Model X in focus, background out of focus, and let's play. We got this oh, really subtle that. shift that here. That looks really good. This is the way that you can recreate this effect in Adobe Premiere with some graphics. So it's a pretty cool thing. Yeah, I think it adds a lot of flavor to, to your graphics. And exactly. And doing something kind of, uh, you know, maybe like a little sketch using graphics, it mm -hmm. kind of creates this nice little uh, so, effect to make it look more realistic. Yeah, and we're all about flavors here. Flavor play. We love flavors. Um, we enjoy bold flavors. I enjoy grape, orange, anything. <laughs> purple drink, purple citrus. flavor. Anything, all the flavors, really. Yeah. All right, that's, that's it. That's a really helpful tutorial. Uh, if you guys liked it, make sure to smash that like button. Smash. And make sure to subscribe for our other videos. We do weekly tutorials yep. on video editing, in-depth on Mondays, yep. which talks about Tesla news, as well as Tesla time news on Tuesdays. Right, yep, in-depth, we kind of go, we pick one story and we spend a lot of time on it so that you can really get into the nitty gritty or in depth, yeah, as you would. And then Tesla Time News, we kind of go over all the stories of the week regarding Tesla, EV, solar power, all that good stuff. And um, we also do some gear reviews. We do some gear reviews from time to time. So if you're like, into that sort of stuff, you can check those out. Uh, we do a bi weekly movie show where we watch yeah. different movies and we discuss, debate, and sometimes uh, agree, disagree, um, get heated. Again, sometimes it comes down to a really heated game of Chinese checkers to decide whether um, <laughs> a death. movie is good or not to the death. Exactly. Yeah. So um, I'm actually you're, what you're seeing right now. We're actually on a different plane of existence right now because obviously Bobby and I lost that last Chinese checkers game. So Zach and Jesse, you're in the other world. Yeah, we're right uh, we're we've gone to the other side, and as it turns out, the other side is a di identical copy yes. of the other hey. world with just us. Just be careful. Yeah, you I don't want to spoil anything, anything for any particular show. I won't say what show, too, because by doing that, it will spoil, it'll spoil that spoil it immediately. So, shh. So, so, comment the show below. Yeah, if you, if you know what we're talking about, comment below, because I want to know who else watches this show, because it's so good. It's a good show. It's so good. Oh, man, I wish we didn't say that, because I just want to We talk should about do a that. review on that show. We, we, I think we probably will at some point. Yes. So, um, yeah. Also, we do some vloggy stuff, so stay tuned for that. We're going to do a yeah, little so, bit more Yeah, and speaking vlogs. of which, um, you, you were just in San Francisco last yeah. week with Zach and Jesse. Yeah, Unfortunately, I couldn't fun. be there. I had some adult-like... Um, <laughs> events that I had to go to. Like events. Yeah, I had to go to a wedding and uh he was a know, groomsman, so I had to be a responsible adult and deal with that. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I couldn't fun. go through it. But yeah, how was it? I mean San Francisco it was it was unbelievable. I mean we had a, a blast. We yeah. met some really cool people. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of great interviews coming out soon. So Yeah, who did you guys meet when you were out there? We met some other YouTube channels. We met uh, Kim from Like Tesla wow. and her husband. Nice. And uh, we met Trevor from Model Three Owners Club. Wow. Ryan from Ride the Lightning. Oh cool. Uh, James Cook, Ben Sullins. Just a whole, the list goes on and on. We met so many cool people. That's awesome. We met uh, our good pal, Elliot, who lives in Sweden. Nice. And uh, he was really cool and his family was really cool. And it was just, it was a great time. So you'll be seeing some uh, vloggy stuff coming out as the uh, weeks progress. Nice. We got, I'm working on day one right now as we speak. So Awesome. So you guys have that to look forward to. That So check that out as those yeah. start to come out. Anyway, you know what? I think we should probably get, you know... We got work yeah, to do. Yeah, we gotta head out. So. We're, we're busy people, you know. We got a lot of videos to edit. Yeah. Um, Bobby and I, we're we're just like overwhelmed by the amount of footage yeah. we have to edit right now. We got now. So, so much footage. You guys so. are asking too much of us right now. I feel like we we just need to get back to work. <laughs> you know. I mean, come on, guys. We, we love hanging out with we, you. We we but... really do love hanging out with you, but we're responsible adults who have yeah. jobs to do, and we need to go and do them. So right, yeah. Well, I gotta head out, man. So all right, all right. See you later. Yep. <laughs> See you later. Yep. Peace out. Apparently Bobby works somewhere else than I do. So yeah, it was right, nice guys. talking to you guys. Um, what's up? Uh, all right, so uh, see you, later, Brian. Uh, see you Bobby. Um,
Wait, now that we're done recording, what do you want to do for lunch? Mmm, lunch I'm like so sick of doing this video. Oh, are we still recording? Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> hey, Brent. Hey, Bobby. This is classic Bobby Zoom. Oh, yeah. wow. That is like really classic old fashioned Bobby Zooming. Oh, yeah. I'm probably like looking right up my hairy nostrils right now. I am. Wow. In fact. Look at this zoom. Look at that. Whoa. Classic Bobby zoom in, out. Around. Around. Spin. Out. Whoa. Hey there. Whoa. One more time. Do that again. 